Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very quick one. I'm going to be installing this wig from Arabella Hair. This is their Real Glueless wig. It's an HD 5x5 lace closure wig. It's in their jerry curly texture. It's 180% density and if I am correct, I believe it is 24 inches long. Um, so this is their glueless wig and you don't need any glue gel or spray to install this wig it literally fits to the shape of your head it's so snug all you have to do is adjust your straps and the wig just it stays on honestly like i was able to move around shake my head and everything and not have it feel like it's going to slip off so i decided to style this wig on my mannequin head i first started off using my spray water bottle but let me just be honest with y'all this day i filmed this video i felt like crap so i was just like i gotta figure out a way to get this done so i can go back to my bed so i eventually after sitting there spraying and i was just like no it's taking too long i eventually had the bright idea of why don't i just wet the wig in the sink since it is a curly wig so i did not show that but i did take the wig off the mannequin head you will see that it's going to be drenched <laughs> at one point and um yeah i just wet it that's the mousse that i'm using if i remember i will link it below for you guys i do love this mousse i use it on my natural hair as well um i don't wear my hair curly but whenever i would do like a little twist on my hair i would use this and it held them pretty well and it also holds curls really well without it being too crunchy. You can like break the cast of the hair. So it's not like hard, but it, it really defines curls and holds them. So yeah, like I said, I had the bright idea to take the wig off of the mannequin head and wet it. And then I just continued going in with that mousse to define the curls. But let me just say that I really did enjoy the curl pattern on this wig. I honestly love jerry curl textures on wigs because I feel like they just give the best natural look. Especially when you like really go in and like cut and style them. You can get like a super duper natural look. So I'm going on my Denman brush. I'm brushing it out. And if you want your curls to pop, a Denman brush is what you need. Like a Denman brush and a good mousse is the key to getting your curly wigs to just pop. Like I'm telling you, no other brush does it like a Denman brush. I've been using Denman brushes for like six or seven years now, and yeah, probably longer than that, but you need one. So I'm just going through and brushing and brushing and brushing, and I did let the wig dry on the mannequin head because I didn't want to put it on my head because like I said, I wasn't feeling good this day. So yeah, I did that. But once I did put it back on my head, I'm not really sure how much longer until you guys see that. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep talking about it and you guys will eventually see it. But whenever I did let the wig dry, I decided to kind of fluff it up with my hands. And then I was like, I want this wig to have a little bit more volume. So I went in with my scissors and kind of cut some layers in the front, you know, did a little something, something. Still wanted to keep it long. Didn't want it to be too drastic of a cut because I still want you guys to get that original look, you know. So I just did a little bit of that and just fluffed it with my hands. And that was pretty much the finished look for this wig. So let me tell you guys how I feel about the wig. I did like the hair. Um, the lace is supposed to be HD, but I just felt like it could have been a little bit thinner just so it kind of blended a little bit better. I did put makeup on mine, so it blended really well for it to be lace, for the lace to be the thickness that it was. But um, I really do wish that it was like that fine HD lace. But other than that, the hair was super amazing, super soft. I loved the curl pattern. Like I said, I love a jerry curl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really have any complaints about the hair. That's not really a complaint about the lace. 
that's just me i just love thin lace that just like disappears because i've gotten to the point where i like minimal work with the wigs like i don't want glue i want the thinnest lace so i don't have to like try to make it disappear so that's just me but other than that the hair turned out beautiful i loved it really really pretty so i'm gonna have the hair um link link down below in the description box for you guys the link to their website everything down below look at how pretty that is pretty 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 and you guys can see right there i put the makeup on it so you know it's blending but i would just prefer to layers thinner but yeah everything in the description box below for you guys check them out really beautiful hair affordable hair as well if you guys are not subscribed please the subscribe button it means so much to me Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'm just going to let you guys go ahead and finish watching this video, because I'm tired, I'm ready to go to sleep, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time, bye guys. Don't you don't trust niggas, no, no. Trust niggas, no.